a lot of people these days will consider themselves very religious. <laughs> Excuse me, bring it. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Karsten, but I like to go by Karstinian the Concern. And that may sound a little strange to you, but I'm the most religious person on the planet. My strange addiction. Well, actually, my strange commitment. And on this episode of My Strange Addiction, we'll be interviewing the most religious man on the planet, Karstinian. I'd say it started around the time when I was three years old. Before I even knew how to read, I somehow knew that the sun god Ra was most important to me. But I don't call him Ra, because if I call him Ra more than ten times in my life, I will die because of him. I've only said Ra nine times, and if I say it one more time, I will die. What's my religious schedule like? It's rather tough. It's actually quite a bit on my part. It's so much that it's my life. From the second I wake up in the morning, I pray to the sun god Ra. Some people have to pray five times a day. Some people just a little bit more. I pray 48 times of my day. And no, it isn't hourly because there's only 24 hours in a day. I actually pray two times an hour. And you may be wondering, well, how do I sleep? My sleep. <laughs> I, I don't normally sleep, actually. It's, it's, it's a rather strange schedule. It's something I had to figure out for myself along with my disciples. I really, I don't really sleep. I actually have to go to periodic hours of sleep, except they're not actually hours, and I wake up every 30 minutes to pray. So whenever I want to sleep, I set an alarm. The hours I pray? Sure, I'll list them out. Well, let's see. I pray at 12 a.m., 12.30 a.m., 1 a.m., 1.30 a.m., 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m., 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m., 4 a.m., 4.30 a.m., 5 a.m., 5.30 a.m., 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m., 7, 7.30 a.m., 8, 8.30 a.m., 9, 9.30 a.m., 10, 10.30 a.m., 11, 11.30 a.m., 12, 12.30 p.m., 1 p.m., 1.30 p.m., 2 to 2.30 p.m., 3, 3.30 p.m., 4, 4.30 p.m., 5, 5.30 p.m., 6, 6.30 p.m., 7, 7.30 p.m., 8, 8.30 p.m., 9, 9.30 p.m., 10, 10.30 p.m., 11, 11.30 p.m., and 12 a.m. again. And it kind of goes back in the cycle like that. You might be wondering why I'm so devoted to the beautiful sun god. And I'll tell you. Well, when I was just six years old, I was spoken to by the gods. I was walking down my street, catching butterflies in a net, and one of the butterflies spoke to me. It grew larger wings, and they all turned red, and then they all turned yellow. And then, in a deep voice, it said, Follow me, O oh, holy sun god! Spread me across your godforsaken world and show them that I am the only one god that matters! It really ripped open my heart. It was beautiful. I couldn't even comprehend how amazing it was. And I knew that I needed to go back inside and pray to the sun god 48 times a day. Would I call it an addiction? I'm not really sure. I think it's more of a commitment. I make sure that spreading the religion is just as important as praying for it. It's the most, it's, it's my life. It's all I do. If I'm not praying, I'm spreading the religion. This, this is my life now. This, this, this religion, the sun god, he should be everywhere. And that is what he's telling me. So that is what I'm doing. I've devoted my entire life to being a preacher of the sun god and I every single day in the times when I'm not praying to the sun god I go outside and I tell all the civilians that they need to do the same I preach my meanings I add beauty to this world this god forsaken world have I ever missed a day of praying <laughs> That was the funniest joke I've ever heard. Have I ever missed a day of praying? <laughs> of course I haven't missed a day of praying. It's my life. I put everything I ever had 
towards the sun god. He is the preacher of life. Not ever since I was three years old have I ever forgotten one of the 30 minutes of my day devoted to the sun god. Why do I think the sun god's great? Is that what you want me to talk about? Oh, of course. He has all the power and he, he means life. He brings everything to life on this earth. All the plants, all the rain, all the clouds, the weather, the people. He's everything. The sun god is everything. Our whole solar system, it relies on the star that is our sun. And we have to give that to the man who runs it. Through all of life, he gives us everything. And without him, without his stuff, without his things that he provided, we would be dead. And he provides everything we have. He provides life, he provides happiness and everything we have. We don't give him enough love for it. We don't, we take it for granted and it's bad. In all of our science classes, we've learned that the sun is the most important thing in our solar system. So why wouldn't we devote our entire life to it like me? Why wouldn't we, hmm? why wouldn't we? If it makes life, if it makes plants and life and food, without the sun, we would die. If we didn't make that stuff, we would die. So why not? <laughs> honor it. Why wouldn't we honor it? The sun god is everything to me! <laughs> I love you, sun god. I love you. <laughs> I spend all of my day with the sun god. There aren't any really specific times. It's not every 30 minutes when I pray. It's every minute of my life when I think about the sun god. How many people are part of my religion? Well, ever since I was three years old, I began to preach outside as I was saying. I spread my religion along the world, but right now, there was only two more people part of my religion, unfortunately. Half the other people either died or gave up due to how physically impossible and how physically devoting this religion is to your life but me. But for me, I love the sun god. So of course, I would do anything, anything. These two people are my disciples. They do everything, including all of the duties that must be done. Along with having to pray 48 times a day, you actually have to make one pilgrimage to the origin country, which is Mongolia. Speaking of, I will tell you about the origin of how I just, 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 just became myself with the sun god above. Wow. <laughs> this is... This is the sun god in me, this is him. He's speaking to me. It was on a vacation in Mongolia when I was catching butterflies and that's when it spoke to me. And ever since then, I've just connected the country to the sun god because that's where I believe he grew up. And in my texts, which is a book I call Sun, it's literally just called Sun. I made a holy book, which I forgot to talk about if I'm being fully honest with you. But my, my royal, my holy, my beautiful book, Sun has the text of what I believe Sun God's life was. In this text, I wrote that I believe he was a very, 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 very disciplined young boy growing up. And he had a hard life. He had a horrible childhood. And the, the earth was, 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 it had nothing. It was not brimming with life as it is today. No life, no life. And then, one day, <laughs> He decided he wanted to be bright. He wanted to light up the world. He wanted to be everything this world has ever seen. And so in one fit of happiness and brightness in life, he lit up into the sun. He rose to the sky in power. And he became why our earth is living. And the humans in our life and the plants and the animals evolved to live under the control of the sun god. And we, we take it for granted. We don't even see how good the sun is. But now, with people like me, we can. <laughs> and when I was catching butterflies, when I was catching butterflies that one day, it was him. It was the sun god. He, he came down. He decided that the people in this godforsaken world were taking him for granted. So I knew what I had to do. I had to make the most religious journey ever known in the history of planet Earth as it is. And so I set off. I became a new man. I needed my life. <sighs> 
to be part of this. This was it for me. I need. I needed it. I need it. So I go by one motto: Life is Sun God. What was my original name before Karstinian? My original birth name was Karsten Lepre. But soon after, I knew I needed a holy name, a name like the Lord Jesus Christ from the religion of Christianity. So I changed it to Karstinian. Karstinian the Concern. And you might be wondering, why? Why the concern? Well, the, my, my family thought I was concerned, which is fine, I, I guess, as, as long as it's towards the, the, sun, the sun god, so. Karstinian the Concern was me. It was my name, it was my identity. It was, it was true to me. <sighs> You're asking me what the religion's called? It doesn't have a name. It doesn't need one, it's just too good. Oh, excuse me, it's 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 9.30 a.m. I have to do my prayers. Hail the God, hail him, son God. <sighs> Sun God Ra, give us life, give us plants, give us animals, give us life, give us life, give us plants, give us animals, give us life, give us life, give us life. Hell, hell, hell. What was that? In conclusion, the, the sun god is part of me. I, I, I am the sun god. I am. I am him in human form. I am the reason we spread. I am the reason we are one. This is who I am, and that's why my strange addiction, my strange commitment, is the sun god rock. <laughs>